All right, lesson one, we're talking about addition and subtraction of fractions and lines and segments. First thing we need to do when we're looking at lesson one, well, this is review for us, is to subtract fractions here and then add as we go through. First thing we need to do is to find the least common denominator, which is going to be the least common multiple of our three different denominators. Remember, the number on top is called the numerator. The number on bottom is called the denominator. So when we look at 11, 6, and 3, the least common multiple of those must be 66. So we're going to rewrite these fractions. We're going to have something over 66 minus something over 66 plus something over 66. To figure out what those somethings are, well, we've multiplied 11 times 6 to get to 66. So 10 times 6 is going to be 60. We multiplied 11 times 6 to get to 66. So 5 times 11 is 55. And we multiplied 3 times 22 to get to 66, so 1 times 22 is 22. Very good. Now we need to subtract first. So 60 minus 55 is going to give us 5 over 66. Then we're going to add our remaining 22 over 66 to come up with an answer of 27 over 66. Now when we've got our answer of 27 over 66, we need to think about if that can be reduced. And yes, it can be reduced because 2 plus 7 is 9 and 6 plus 6 is 12. Both of those numbers, 9 and 12, are divisible by 3, so this number must be able to be reduced. If we divide everything by, let's say we uh, divide it by 3, we're going to get 9 over something. Well, we've got 66 and we're going to divide that by 3. 66 divided by 3, well 6 divided by 3 is 2, 6 divided by 3 is 2, so it must be 9 over 22. 9 20 seconds, that's going to be our final answer for this first problem. We can go ahead and circle that in order to show we're all done. 9 20 seconds. Now the other part of our lesson is about line segments and lines. And of course a line segment is something that has a definitive stopping point and starting point. So right here, A, that's maybe where we begin this line segment. C is where we're going to end this line segment. A line would have arrowheads point in both directions, meaning it continues on forever and ever. Now this problem, segment AC, measures 10 and 1 quarter units. So A to C, that's all the way across, A to C. That's 10 and 1 fourth units. Okay. Segment AB, that measures 4 and 3 sevenths. So A to B, 4 and 3 sevenths. What we need to do is figure out BC. And of course, B to C is going to have to be the total distance of 10 and 1 fourth minus 4 and 3 sevenths. So if we go through that math, 10 and 1 fourth, 10 and 1 fourth minus 4 and 3 sevenths, we can find out our answer. Okay. Now when we look at this, we can see our fractions have different denominators. We're going to have to go through the same process as well. Our least common denominator is going to be 28. So we're going to get 10 and we're multiplying 4 times 7 to get to 28. So we're going to get 7 28 minus 4 and we're multiplying by 4. So we're going to get 12 28. Now as you can see here that that is good but we still have a bit of a problem. There's a couple ways we can go through this. One would be to borrow from the 10 to get a 9. We're going to add 28 to both to our numerator here. So we get 9 and 35 over 28. And we're going to subtract 4 and 12 over 28 from that to figure out our final answer of 5 and 23 28 and 5 and 23 28 that would be our correct answer but it is a distance problem so we need to include units there as well so we're all done we've got our final answer now that's it for lesson one lesson one doesn't even have any lesson practice we'll come to class prepared in order to get started on the problem set and finish that in class hope you have a good afternoon